Uh huh. So same as the building down here. Yeah, so. Mhm. Mm that one down there towards Swift. You spot nothing, Gorion. You walk in there, Swift, <laughs> and you essentially see the exact same that you just saw previously. And you look down there and you see a bed. Mm. And you know, another bookshelf, some drawers. You know, bedside drawers, some lights. And you know, another window pointing there. And of course, of a. Of course, this is tied up here ish, right? They're, no, they're way over down that way. Alright, okay. All right, yeah. I'm gonna look around. Can I see any of the others behind us? You turn and you see Gorion. And you can, like. Actually, He's no, called Garion. Garion. Hey, Garion. 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 My apologies. I'm terrible Garion. with pronunciation. I always end up getting. I'm tired as it, well. It I is didn't an apologize English in advance. Word, by the way. I know. I apologize in advance, though, for being tired. So <laughs> let's go through. Okay. So, yeah, you turn around and you spot Garion and his. Uh, mother raven. fucking Raven. And uh, you don't see the others because, you know, they're in buildings right now. Right. Yeah. Well, Gary, and should we go get the horses ready? That sounds like a good idea in case there's anything more lurking around. All right. Wait, there are books in the um, Hold on. Yeah. Fear. She, she places one of the gems they recovered earlier at the altar after scraping off some blood. She will then kneel and pray. May the flames of this wood and the fruit of the ground cleanse this place and return their essence to the earth once again. As she says that, she hears a click by the altar. And as she turns, she can see a random little box is slowly sliding out from the site. It would appear to be a secret compartment that is opened up by her words. She can't really tell how, but it just appears to do that. As she peers inside, she sees inside the small compartment a symbol of life plus one Mendor holy symbol. Okay. I'll take that. She will take it and sort of. Uh, what the fuck are you doing here? She'll take it, take she'll kiss it. Um, so, it, what is in there that looks particularly flammable? Uh, there was also a note in there, and I will uh, uh, finger you for message. Yeah, yeah. And well, anything is flammable. flammable. You see a lot of candles everywhere. Um, it appears to all be stone, but the benches are, of course, uh, you know. Wait, fat. is it not a wooden structure? It is not is a wooden structure. Thing? It is stone. Oh. Uh, it's it's still probably it. burn it relatively well because there's, you know, sort of rags for like flags and symbols around okay. the place, and there's candles and the benches you can burn and the altar itself and shit like that. And uh, the roof is made of. The roof is made of thatching, so that could burn as well. Yes. Okay. So she'll sort of move some stuff to pile it up to, and try and set a little light. With so... The stones on, taking the litter and the thing. Mm. Clive, I'm checking for something uh, of value in or interest in the market. You don't see anything currently looking around that uh, appears to be of, of any good that you can sort of sell and make money. No, I, I mean, like, uh, is the food rotten or whatever, or, you know. How long has this this town been cursed? It would appear it's been, you know, the food has sort of started to go off a bit for a few days. Okay, so it's pretty... It's not that long ago. I'll start walking back. Walking back to Thea! To check on her. Okay, and so the... she'll, she'll try and sit, sit on fire. Once it catches, she, she'll leave through the nearest door. Mm. I would simply say you have succeeded, no problems, and it slowly starts to engulf. What on earth is this little thing? The door? I don't yes. know. <laughs> yeah, the door I must have taken the, the door with you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, guys. Horses, where are you? <laughs> okay, um, Keep roping. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, so as you'll say... Um, no, no sense of direction. You sort of turn to the Emir and say, uh, Mindo will, uh... Yeah, so, uh... Mi yeah, Mindo has been... No, I'm not... Yeah, she'll also say, Min Yeah, this place has been cleansed. And she'll start yep. walking off. So, and then where are the others? She'll ask where the others are. 
What did you say? Uh, where are the others? Ah, uh, the others, I think. I saw them walk outside the town. I think they're going to fetch our horses. Yeah, I there's guess. nothing here, we will leave. Hmm? Yeah, if there's nothing there, here, we will leave. Nothing that we have found. I haven't heard anything. Let us leave this town. Uh, yeah. It's a cursed town. And then we we'll walk to the main road, and then we we'll move from the main road down, 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 down. I don't know. If nothing special yeah. happens, Clive, we are leaving the town to get oh, our yeah. horses. Does everyone agree with that? Yes. Yeah. No By the time they get down there, we've already we're sitting on our houses, and I have like at least two horses in my uh, holding yeah, them in there. Whatever you call it, uh, strings. What are those called? Uh, um, St Sternum. Sternum? No. Stirrups. Uh, no, those are what you. you no, those are, are where the feet go. Uh, oh, reins. Yeah. Reins. reins. Thank you. Fuck reins. Reins. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm holding it in the steering wheel. <laughs> the steering wheel. You're holding the steering wheels. <laughs> oh, that's what you need to do next. Next. Next game. Motorcycles or something. Yeah. The, the birth yes. of the bicycle. You, know, you probably have the reins around your bridle or something. Yeah. 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 You can probably tie. So something. I'll mount my horse. <laughs> And Did you guys find anything? No, we it's here. I only cl have cleansed the cleansed the place to say. So Theo, um, Theo, 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 you know, Theo has the, the sick and uh, holy icon around her neck. But, yeah, yeah not that I pay any found this. to it. Um, yeah, she says I, I found this. And yeah, I see. It looks nice. Do you find anything else, or? Um, she so sort of pulled out the note, she didn't really look at it and hand it to you, hands it to you. If you what wait, I, I will actually show you both momentarily. <laughs> yes, uh, Thea, did you manage to burn down the church temple? Temple. She sort of... Can you not see the flames, guys? Can they, get, can they see it from yeah, here? Yeah, you can see the flames, it's engulfed it pretty well. Okay. That's so just glances back and so, yeah. Poor Julian. I hope Helena got away safely and was not ca caught up in this mess. You hope who got away safe? Oh, the, the I guess the priest's wife. I don't know if this priest, the priests are allowed to have wives <laughs> in this world. All right, I'm just gonna ask out again. Was that something you just read in the note he handed you? Yeah. 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 I mean, like, I was saying, I hope Helena managed to get away f from this curse. Hmm. Okay. Are we, like, having this conversation while we're riding off, I'm guessing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you're all going off. Where are you going? Back to Lazarus? Of yeah. course. Yes. You can't okay. go anywhere else, I'm guessing. It is now around eve, well, not evening, uh, f afternoon, four-ish. You have four -ish. arrived in the town of Lazarus. Does our... E Normal inn have uh, st uh, places we can put our horses, or a stable, or there is a sort? stable you can put your horses. Yes. How much does it cost? It does not I, cost ask... anything. Oh, okay. Well, we take our horses to the stable and hand them to the stable boy, I guess, and then go inside and order a room. Well, yeah. Typically, taverns have, uh, yeah, have the, the stables. Mm. Yeah, he said he had. So I'm just asking. All right. I'm guessing before everyone heads in, like when we're outside the tavern, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to go off into town exploring things and such. I'll be back here in two hours. Okay. Then we will go to uh, Lord Holder and then afterwards. Yeah. And then Thea will turn to to Gary and then says, uh, uh, "Do you have any other employment with Lord Holder?" No, I do not. My only agreement with Lord Holder was to see you safely returned. Then another soul would be uh, welcome if you wish to travel with us again. I indeed do wish to travel. <laughs> uh, how much How much does a a, a, a room cost? Uh, one gold was it? Or was it five, five silver? I can't remember. <laughs> it's one gold for the entire night and for food and drink. Like bed okay, and so she'll, she'll, hand, she'll hand him a gold, you know, and, and tell him to. Uh, we we have rooms here for a while. Uh, allow yourself to. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah if you I will have rooms for a while. Uh, find your own. Yeah. I will also buy my buy the room for myself. Uh, Gary and so gladly have... accepts the gold and will head up to the innkeep and buy a room. All right, that is all what you do. Hmm. Then if yeah. if they're not going upstairs, he'll rejoin the table with his key in hand. Mm. Mm. Since no one's doing anything, I'll switch to Swift. You sort of w wander over or even ride if you so desire. And then I'm ride. riding. Oh, in that case, it's even quicker. It takes you, you know, like a minute or two, and then you arrive at the keep, and there's just sort of staring there, staring at you as you're riding a horse, which appears to be quite worn from carrying such a fuck load. <laughs> Hmm. Is there anywhere, any place to tie up my horse? There is, yes. Sort of like to the far left and right that you can't really see, there are sort of wooden things built into the ground which you can sort of wrap the strap of your horse onto it so they can't sort of run off or wander off. I think like the, the bars in the Wild West. Mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. Exactly. Hmm. Alright, at this mound and uh, point to one of the guards. Are there any guards there? Two there guards? are the two guards you can see. Alright, you there, hold hold this, I hand the reins to him. <laughs> he sort of just sort of grabs it a little bit confused and he's like Why am I holding this? I have urgent matter to speak with the Lord Holder and I do not have time for you. Hold it till I get back, and then I'm just gonna walk past him going. He stops you, they both get out of your way. He now of course lets go of the horse and they both draw their weapons. I can now. You dare get in my way? They both look at you, sort of nod at themselves and say yes. Unless you have business that... Go ahead and try and roll. Hold on, let me... Okay. Hold on, I gotta check that, make sure that's definitely... Okay, I see. Yeah, go ahead and roll. Yeah, they're not scared. <laughs> you dare get in my way, meow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, move out of the way. I don't have time for you, silly people. State your business, and of course now you see your horse is starting to randomly wander off since no one's sort of keeping hold of it. You stay there. I'm gonna grab the reins before it starts getting too far away. You do just that. Ah, uh, then I'm gonna drag it back to the entrance. I have. Hmm. The music randomly stopped. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, oh, you can stop everything just here. I was saying, um. Well, I have a urgent business to discuss with not holding about um, the attack in the next town. He looks puzzled and then for a moment he says, Are you one of the guys he sent off to the village of Tamriel? Yes, I am. Okay, as you say that they both sheath their blades and the guy retakes the stirrup and sort of starts leaning the horse towards it and the other one gestures you inside. All right, I walk past them and go inside. All right, are you heading straight for the study of Lord Holdren? Yes. All right, you do that, and he's sort of sitting there working, and you see this time round. Let me zoom out and sort this shit out. This time round, you see him sort of sitting there working, and behind him, sort of by his corner or by his side, you see a very strange figure standing relatively, you know, behind him with a little bit to his right, and it is needed to be supersized. <laughs> Hold on, why am I doing it in map? There we go. Oh my god! Do it in the map, just put him behind. Yeah. Oh my god! Hey, got a little, little, little people go. There okay. you go. Oh, nice. And you see him standing behind Lord Holdren. His weapon isn't actually drawn though, he's just sort of standing there as, as he sort of looks in that. And Lord Hodrin looks up, and he's like, um, Oh, hey, uh... I, I'm sorry, I never caught your name. What, what is it? Ah, uh, 
It's Tenon. He puts his hand out to shake your hand. I grab it firmly, you know, at the point where it's almost, you know, not crushing his hand, but I'm gonna give pause into it, so it's a real man shake. You want to roll for that? No. Have you ever have you ever shaked someone's hand and you try to shake your hand with them and it's just you get this wet um, towel kind of hand or just this towel kind of hand with no force in it, so you're just shaking, fucking. Yeah, I get it. But however, this guy's from nobility, so he also would return with a firm handshake. But yeah, I, I yeah, get what you're trying to do. It. Yeah. So both of you return, and he sort of smiles at you and says, "Firm handshake, good man," and sits down. And he's like, uh. So you must have returned. Where where are the others? Uh, they have other business to attend to. Sort of nods and says, "Very well then." Uh, he sort of leans will, over, yeah. says, "I've already heard the news about the town, or excuse me, about the village. It's dreadful." Yes, it is. Exactly what I've heard. Uh, he sort of um, leans over the to, you know, sort of points at the spy and is like, he's told me everything. How you guys wandered in, set uh, two buildings ablaze and fought off uh, pretty much everyone inside them. Um. I eyeball this unknown figure then in the background and go, who is, who is he? He just stands there not- staring at you with sort of like, he doesn't even have eyes, they appear just to be white blanks. And uh, Holdren just sort of stands there, looks back, looks over to you, and is like, he, he's just one of my spies. You sent spies after us, and people to check on us. While we're doing what you requested us to do, exactly who do you think we are? He sort of leans back a bit, and is like, well... I know for a fact you guys are people who lied to me, so I wasn't sure if I could really trust you would actually go to the place and do your job. And the reason why I went sent someone after you is because I was concerned of your well-being. I wanted to make sure that you were all okay, and I got the information I needed. I'm sorry if it upsets you, but I've got a town to try and keep safe. I can't just put my faith in adventurers who would so easily lie to me. And then accept gifts as if nothing is the matter. Blank, blank looking him for a second. Ah, no biggie. I'm not concerned anyways. I just realized what my intelligence level is. (laughs) For that. I look completely blank for a moment and then, ah, no worries. So I'm here to claim my reward. He sort of chuckles for a moment, and he's like, shouldn't we wait for your friends? Ah... Uh, I do not know when they will be here. It appears they walk into the tavern. So they might take a drink in there, it might be an hour, it might be ten minutes. I have... I need to see some merchants before the stores close. He shrugs. Very well, I shall give you your... Uh, money right now. However, I do have a... Another task I would like to bring up in mind, and I prefer to say it in front of all your friends if that is okay with you. And he um, gives you one like platinum piece, and as he hands you it, he says, "You must forgive me for the poor uh, reward. You see, I am well. We're a little bit in trouble finance-wise right now, and I'm sort of tightening my budget." To make sure everyone in the town is kept fed and warm for the nights. I uh, I bite it and look at it for a bit and then put it away under my uh, somewhere on my body. Ah, uh, don't worry about that. If you really do wanna, if you have something to discuss in front of the others, I guess I can wait around for ten minutes and see if they show up. If not, I'm gonna leave and I'll take the chair, whatever chair he has. Like, uh, you know, a guest chair on the Th- other there side. There is of the a desk. chair, yes. There's two of them, in yep. fact. I am going to take that and drag it into a corner and sit there, and I'll pull out the bone I had earlier, and I will start, like, peeling off whatever rotten fresh is left on it. You speak common and elven, correct? Yes. 
All right. As you do that, you sort of notice the spy behind you a little bit, dismayed, and then says something in a language you cannot interpret. Hang on, I actually speak three languages. Give me a second. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, you unlocked a new thing, I remember. So he's yes. not illiterate, after all. He's doing well stuff in that game. Not exactly, but I can't remember where to see the language if you can speak. It's quite high in the cheat, but don't worry about it. Chances are you can uh, speak what it's he not, said anyway. It's not like I'm going for it. I just it's I like, might as well take the language now. But it's I need next to, know. to. Oh, sorry. It's next to. Yeah. Where is it? Do you want to know where it is on the DDI? Oh uh, yeah. Or, uh, in builds, you can go to your uh, race. I think it should stand there, or your, I think it should stand there. No, no. I'm looking for choosable languages. Uh, choosable languages. Yeah, doesn't it say so? You have to pick one, right? You on, Are you on about the character sheet, or...? Uh, more in the yeah. player's handbook, if we can find it there. I don't know where it is in the player's handbook, I'm afraid. Oh. Uh... Nah, it only says source, player's handbook. I don't know, sadly. We'll leave it for now. Just... Mm. Even if you said something and I managed to pick the right language, I'm gonna pay any attention <laughs> I will gamble. Yeah, go ahead. Everyone else, I'm sitting there peeling off that skin and all that. And when it's all clean, I'll start biting it. Yeah. Sounds good. Are you guys all heading to the keep? Yes. Yes. Okay, as you get that, you see, you know, there is a horse which you recognize it as Tenens tied up to, you know, the far left. And you see the two guards standing there. I'll tie my horse next to Tenens. Yeah, uh, by the way, she, she denied your, your offer. Just oh, okay. Much. Sure. I just figured we'd get to that soon enough and I can say that, but yeah, she denied your offer. And then we will walk up to the guards, I guess? Yeah, that's what I'll do. Yes. I will get one of their, their attention... I'll get one attention of one of the guards and uh, ask him if he can uh, enter the palace or castle or whatever. Keep. They ask Keep, sorry. to state your business. We have an urgent message about uh, Tamriel. They sort of gesture inside and says your friend is already here. Is? Ah, oh, hmm. why in Earth's name is he here? Well, thank you. He was going to do business about town, but uh, he came straight here. This is interesting. And we'll go inside. Go. Oh, I'm 100% of the space is ugly. So I'll give, go inside of his room and give him a theatrical bow. As you Lord walk Lord. in, of course, you see him sitting behind the desk and behind him, you know, on his, like, sort of left, behind the chair, is that man you can see on the right. Would I recognize him as a drow? I think that is his... his. You can run a... Well, he is you a can run a check if you want to think he's a certain race. What the heck should I run and roll then? Percentage? Certain races, the price for certain... You know, checks. What do you think he is? I think says draw. Roll nature, I believe. Is that right, Dan? For that sort of race? Um, to check to recognize race. Um, because it's distinct. Certain ones are, of course, different types. Um, I think for some, uh, it, yeah. Again, um, it depends on the the races. Um, Nate from from the race Kate race come. So if it's nothing, I think you risk nothing automatically. If it's Fey. It's and if it's natural origin, you don't need to roll. I think, but if it's Fey or something else, you need to roll. Because yeah, because he like thinks it. it's uh, okay. In that case, then roll Arcana. Arcana. If you think it, if you think it's Dro, that's partly Fey. So roll for Arcana. Uh, my Arcana sucks. So ten. Hm. You have no idea. Okay, no, I was just asking. Yes, I was. What did I say before that? <laughs> Walked in, did a gestural bow, and sort of said something about Lord Holdren. Yeah, yeah, Lord, Lord Holdren, we have returned. So, ah, I can see that your friend has beaten you to it, it would seem. Indeed, it seems so. We have grave news about Tamriel. Yes, I've heard already. It's quite frightening, really. Uh, yes. Out of game question: Who had the book, the journal? 
Uh, I was the last one with it, so I guess I took it. Took oh it. yes, we did. Okay, so yes, we know. We did take it with us. <laughs> we forgot to take it. We have... Uh, uh, God, I found a lot of it. Uh, but... The situation is actually quite dire. This magic seems pretty dark. And... Uh, one of us should have the journal of the mayor. And uh, and I also gave him the medal. The mayor medal. You don't have the medal. Who had the medal? No, you don't. Who had it? The Who took it? it? Did I give it to you last session? I can't remember. Who took it? I think, yeah, no, because I think it was Tenen no, who took it. No, Tenen took it because he wanted okay, to make a it. marking. Sure, sure. Then it's okay. <sighs> okay, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, Thea will be watching this guy in the background very cautiously, and she'll hand the, the journal to Lord Holder, and she'll sort of be watching yeah. the stranger suspiciously. He takes it, starts looking, you know, he. He's scrolling through the pages which are blank at first, and then he eventually gets to the start and he realizes who it is. And he's like, This is Mayor Jim's book. It's Jim. Jim. Yes. Unfortunately, Mayor Jim is. has passed away. Twice. Twice. <laughs> yeah, was, Actually, yeah, twice. He, he was dead, yeah, he was dead by the time we got there and we had to destroy his. possessed corpse. Unfortunately. He's a very corrupt man. I wouldn't say his soul was already undead to begin with. So, do the pages return to invisible again? They are invisible right now, from from what Holdren sees. Okay, so I'll take okay. out my invisible ink. Well, you he was flicking through it. You couldn't have seen that he was going through the oh, okay. pages. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. So he just sort of like shuts in, tosses it on his desk. You should note, Lord Holdrum, that most of the pages are hidden in magical, invisible ink. They should be revealed. I believe I used the ink too to reveal them. It dissipates over time. No, no, this is what Thea said. Oh yes, my excuse me. He sort of. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait. She got. She got. No, no, she didn't get a trick with that wrong. Sorry, wrong, wrong. Go for it. Okay. That's what she believes. <laughs> he sort of um, looks a bit puzzled, grabs it, and sort of looks through, and then you know the guy behind him sort of puts his hand out to take the book and he hands it to him and you sort of see him, you know, put his hand out and it appears to be writing something and then he hands it back to Holdren and then you can check and he's like, ah, I see I have to uh, give this quite a read through, can you give me a summary beforehand? Summary like oh shit I can't okay. remember what's happening this time. the uh so um Thea sort of explains. Uh, so she'll go set. She will. Uh, like, um, do you remember what the, the the survivor mentioned of the stranger who brought the chest into the village? <clears throat> Deceased survivor now. Deceased. Here it is oh much. no! I was. I was you, you may want to keep his corpse secure. I'm I'm no fool. We pierced it through the head and we burned it to be sure, giving him the correct burial beforehand, of course. Right. Thank, yeah. thank you, thank, thank God. Um, oh, yes, I have. Oh, yes, I continue. Have, I have in my possession a sample of the ink used to write the invisible letters. You should be able to read the book. By Richard Air. Damn it! Eritrating. Eh? <laughs> I can't say my. Eritrating. It's not the right word. I don't know. He sort of gestures it off, saying, "I can, I can see the uh, words now already." Thank you. Oh okay. Oh, then it's no problem. <laughs> That's what the person was doing in the background. That I was oh, okay. Uh, so he wanted a summary, right? Yeah, because yeah, it's yeah, several pages good. he'd have to read. Okay, so so several years ago, a stranger entered Tamriel. A cloaked stranger. He made acquaintance with the mayor, helping him to power. So basically, this stranger, with this stranger's help, mayor became power. It may uh, Jim became the mayor of Tamriel, and through him, he got some unique magical items, seemingly more powerful for each time. Now, a, a stranger last visited, he procured a strange magical black box for the mayor 
And this box is the source of all this evil that have befell Tamriel. Okay, Thea will interject here and says, because I believe she she knows about yes. the actual nature of the box, right? Mm. You, she you does, yes. Check. Yeah. So she will interject and say, the box contains somewhat of Contain. an essence. Oh, contains, I still, uh, contained, we destroyed it. We did manage to destroy it in the cleansing, purifying fire. However, yes, this box contains the essence or soul of some kind of a necromantic being that managed to uh, take command of the, to possess the mayor and uh, raise the entire village. He puts his hand up for you to stop. And he, you know, his spy sort of leans in and he whispers something against his ear. And the spy starts leaving the room and bows and continues to walk out. Yeah, so she's, she sort of says, uh, so the black box is merely a method of taking power over, taking control of those who open it. And I'm concerned this may, I, I believe you may want to send warnings or to other towns, I believe they they may be suffering the same. They may I've have the already same. started a procedure. This uh, cloaked stranger, seemingly looking human, but he has some peculiar traits about him that makes me think he is a shapeshifter of some sort. Seemingly surprisingly mistrusting for you, considering you're the one who has lied to me. Oh, in what way? I asked you, after the bandits, if you managed to procure or find some trading goods that was taken from me. Most in particular were the eggs given by my dear friend who has recently passed. You said there were not. Mm -hmm. And who says I have these eggs on my person? My spy. Mm hmm. Well, you are free to check my body if I have these said eggs on me. Yeah, sort of. Thea will sort of put her hand in Amy's face and says that such great power would. You understand we are suspicious to leave our own hands. We are cautious to let it leave our own hands. So she sort of gets, oh, well, he knows, so there's not much you can say to say, you know, keep lying. You do not wish to return a item that is rightfully mine because you're suspicious of my hands. What have I done to cause such suspicion? And what have you done to cause such plight to make you think you're worthy of holding this items which are in fear of being held in the wrong hands in the first place? She said, would you not be afraid to give these to another for the same reason? I would not give them to another because I have sworn to protect them with my life because they were given to me from my dear friend. That is similar enough to at least my sentiment. He sort of just gestures it away and then sort of sits there for a few moments staring at the fireplace and then someone walks in behind the door and as you turn you see d stupid token envelop hmm. you see her walk in and she sort of just goes round slides past you all and stands behind Holdren and then he sort of just coughs and says um Adventurers, please meet High Mage Dana. And she sort of like nods to you guys. Ah. Oh. You have to give us some of these characters inside our journal, I guess, so we know who they are. <laughs> I I know what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, thank you. One was... yeah. Yeah, I you don't know her beforehand, hence why I haven't added yeah. it. Yeah, 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 but you have to add Adam, yeah. I guess. So are, are Tenen and, and Garion not actually going to enter any of these conversations? Garion and Tenen is in the room. Yep. I'm happily eating my bone in a corner. So I'll bow to... I'll give a bow to the mage, I guess. Yes, I will. My lady! Give a quick glance to the mage. 
Gary no. will stand when he hears her title and move towards her as if to ask her a question. She, if he doesn't get interrupted. No. She just sort of looks to you. Have you, perchance, heard news of a sorcerer named Manus recently? She stares at you for a moment and contemplates for a time and then she pretty pretty much only just says perhaps I have what is it concern of you if I have I have been searching for him for months now and I would dearly like to know where he is may I ask why you wish to know he was my master hmm well, I'm afraid what information I do know is very old and probably incorrect. Um, the Any news then, is good news. Is this a quiet conversation? Can we hear this or not? You can hear it, yes. Okay, Thea will turn to Gary and say, uh, I'm from, where, where, where did your master live? In a uh, tower. Many, many miles away. You know, she shakes her head and says, oh, "Unfortunately, I have not passed great towers in my travels." He would not be there that anyway tower. because I came from that tower. Uh -huh. Then I have not encountered such a person. The last I heard, and she sort of like interrupts and just says, "The last I heard, he was traveling through Arcadia, seeking passage to get to across the river to Damascus." Why would he go to Damascus? Do you know? I, do I like not. the fact that these are nations from Final Fantasy XII. Yes, <laughs> they are. And the XP for that. Garion, do you know what purpose your master had before he left? I do not. Or... He just suddenly left without telling me. There was no strange events around that time. No strange persons or happenings. I woke up and he was gone. I've been searching ever since. Ah. There's nothing in Damascus but evil. He might have gone to try stop or prevent something. If your master was a great man, of course, I mean... He was indeed. A very honourable man. Ah. You hear Lord Holdren sort of clear his throat and say, If you're done rambling, can I get onto the task I have at hand if you're willing to accept? Yes, of course. Yes, my lord, and then she sort of pauses, I assume your spy is dealing with the previous matter. He nods and says, yes, he is sending out reports to the king and to every other neighbouring village and town. She, she sort of raises her eyebrows surprised because that's not what she meant, but then she sort of, okay, nods. Yes, Lord Holbrook, please tell us. He looks to Tenon and says, uh, the High Mage here is desiring an escort into Ziltoid. And then she sort of like scoffs at him and hits his side and he's like, ow, f fine. She wants to go to Ziltoid and I demand she takes an escort. These times are tough and I'm very concerned. I know she can handle herself, but I'd rather some formidable warriors be at her side. You seem to be up to par. And then he sort of, you know, looks to, uh, Aemir briefly and then looks to Ten and he said whether or not I can trust you is another matter I suppose and then says um, also I figured if she's going there anyway she may as well deliver the letter to the lord of that town so you know it will be killing two birds with one stone as it were and sort of smiles mm, what yeah. town did you call that? Ziltoid it is right. southwest of here out of game for a moment. Um, if the spy saw, you know, Amy a bag, the other egg. I've had the egg in my bag, you know, from or on my body, somewhere on my he, body for a long he, time. He so. should not be able to see me bag the egg because we were inside the building and there were zombies everywhere. And I don't know. Oh, <laughs> that aside, well, that aside, also put it really matters. Yeah. I'm just telling you, if the spy spotted it, he wouldn't have seen me uh, grab the egg. So unless you can detect it with magic, I'm just trying to give you a heads up so you don't. Oh, 
I missed. I no, I'm a bit confused because yes, I, you know. I originally I did not take the egg. Originally Sarah took one and you took one. It doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter at all. Ah, oh, okay. Just well, it was info was just... from me to the game master. So, yeah. yeah. With uh, that in mind, would both of you like to randomly Skype me quickly where they are, just so I could know fully exactly where the two eggs are? Out of curiosity. Anyway, I'm just... Oh, anyway. That was it. He's sort of standing there and says, um, yes, and no doubt that Lord will probably have a task or two for you as well. Well, we live to serve. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> we would like to serve. And escort is fine. Does he look young or does he look old? Or is it impossible She's to tell? She has magic. Okay, that is no. well point out. This young lady to... Ah, I can't remember the name of this fucking... Dana? Dana. Dana. No, not yeah. her name, I mean the city. To... Elena. No, um... Yes. No, I asked I for a city name that we are supposed to have to quarter to a city. The town is Siltoid. Siltoid, Siltoid thank you. Like we will escort her to Siltoid. And the matter of the dragon eggs will be discussed later. He sort of stares blankly at you and then he uh, calls in and just shouts, River, can you come in now? And then in walks. Da, 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 da. What appears to be a ranger. However, right now he is not speaking. Out of game, it is. Uh, what's his name? Alex. 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 He's currently inexposed at the moment, and so he won't really be doing roleplay, but I figured it fits with his story to still be this part. So, preferably, when he needs to do roleplay stuff, he'll actually chat. If not, no worries. I'm not that bothered. He can easily just be randomly there and not do shit. But I need to throw him in there so he doesn't get left out when he is available and if it doesn't fit for him to join. Whatever. I'm sorry, Alex. Fuck you too. <laughs> is it, isn't it orc or half orc? What is he doing now? It's a long tooth. Long tooth. Long tooth. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry, Alex. You don't, you, yeah, you don't actually need to sort of roleplay or anything like that right now because I know you're busy. Don't throw I just thought I'd throw you in there that way. It fits for when you just randomly join in the thick of an encounter and I don't need to come up with a reason why. So don't fret it, but but yeah. Sure. So a ranger walks in and he's standing there. It's like she will. He's all. He's already been second. hired to be part of a guide. Hmm. I will pull out the hand and shake and ask him to shake. I guess or you know like ask for a handshake. And he will do it. Uh, my guy moves his hand forward, but he has very long claws. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, from from saying you know what he is, they will sort of a little little bow, just sort of bow her head and quite a bit of respect. So this fine fellow will be joining us on this um, escort mission, correct? I'll uh, say to Lord Holdren. Yes, and, he nods. And his name is, and I nod to Alec. Um, yeah. River. River. Well, there should be no problem. We already have one. Oh, what the fuck was that? We've already got one more companion on this quest, so why not another one? The more the merrier. Lord Holdren stands up and then sort of, you know, grabs a pouch and throws it at uh, Garion and says, Thank you for, you know, keeping an eye on him for me. And checking my. It was my pleasure, Lord Holdren. He smiles and nods at you once more. In that, you will find uh, one platinum piece. And then he says, my apologies for the poor pay, of course. As I previously mentioned, times are a little tough here. Not a problem, my lord. Sweet. With that in mind, uh, he sort of sits back down as I come. It's not too late. Dana wishes to head out now. You can easily set camp near the road or something like that if you would all like to uh, venture off on your journey. Uh, my character is going to bow, walk five, stair five steps backwards, 
turn around and leave the room, and he's gonna wait for everybody outside. Gary will also bow to Lord Holdren and then exit the room. Hmm. Sounds good. He just sort of waves you off and says, uh, you know, safe journey. And, uh, what's her name? Sort of follows Dana. <laughs> follows shortly behind. Yes, we will take or leave that. Uh, I'm just curious, was Garen, uh, was it, I didn't like patch that correctly, was Garen given his money or the money for the group? Oh, Garen got, was, was given his, his money. That's what I thought. Oh my god, so, somebody's typing really loud. <laughs> Sorry, don't worry about that, that happens from time to time. Don't worry too much. Yeah, he'll sort of uh, stop and look to Lord Holdren and says, uh, where, uh, did he actually agree to pay pay us for the information he did, from Tamriel? Yes. Okay. Uh, I believe you made a decision to pay us. Uh, I would uh, I would prefer to have the funds to silver my weapons as well as excess. And I am certain my other companion, although he doesn't seem to require much money and he would be welcome. He stares at you a little bit irritated it would seem and says I do not like the idea of being obligated to give money to people who lie to me but my word is my bond and then he sort of throws via a pouch and it has one uh, platinum piece for every person that hasn't been paid yet. And mm. um, Does that include uh, a serious character? It does, yes. Okay, she'll take it out and put it on the, the table and say, uh, a wizard companion has fallen and that, uh, that will soothe your ire. And she says, many thanks, my lord, and she'll walk out. And sort of toss, you know, casually drop a coin in her pocket and when she'll toss Amir at his... I'll catch it. Give me there. You wish okay. to catch the coin in midair? Yes. Uh, yeah, she'll yeah, no, like, she she no, she'll toss point. the coin in the pouch. Okay. The coin's still in the pouch, but it's not really a heavy pouch, so it'll sort of be weird. It'll be floppy in flight. Cool. Okay, so, you are leaving the keep now, yes? Yes, I'm uh, si signaling a tenant to get his ass out of the couch and out the door. <laughs> he I look up yet. and do just that. Yes, and I'll bow my head, you know, give a bow and as I walk out the door. Goodbye, Lord Holdroom, we will speak again. He simply nods. Uh, right. So, Diana followed us, yes, right? Or did she she did, stop? yes. I'm gonna so, slow down, you know. Um, uh, do you want to be called my lady or is there any... Do you want us to call your name, or how do you want us to address you? She simply is continuing to walk and says, Dana will be just fine, thank you. So, Dana, do you mind if we procure some items before we journey out? Or is that too much of a trouble? If it is necessary, I do not see why not. Thank you. I'll leave. Okay, as you exit the keep, you know, you get to this point, and then you hear a whistle coming from the right. As you turn, you of course see the spy, you know, standing from the far side of the right by the keep, leaning on the wall, and he points to Fia and sort of with his finger gestures her to come towards him. Okay, so she'll sort of weigh the others off and walk slowly towards them. But she's very, very cautious. Uh, Dana sort of sighs and simply says, meet me at the inn as soon as you can. Okay, so you have wandered over to the spy and he is sort of I'm looking at you. Like a, good, a good 10 feet from him or something like that. Mm, fair enough. <laughs> 
she was, yeah, a, dis- a, li- a little distant, so she has like a little bit of time to react if anything happens. Mm. He's sort of leaning on the wall, still looking at you, and says, um, Are you afraid of me? Yeah, I have reasons to have suspicions. Mm. You have no reason to be. Scorpion is the name, yes? Yes. He sort of leans his head quite, you know, like proper reaching around his shoulder to look behind him. And then he looks back and starts sort of, you know, walking towards you with something in his hand. Can I see what it is or not? You can't right now. Okay, she, she won't do anything. She'll sort of just pause for a moment. Right. He sort of stops as you know, as he sort of cries uh, quite close, leans in a bit and puts his hand out in a gesture to give you something. Um, so is it palm up, palm down? Uh, sort of. His hand's in the air, you can probably see the item now, it appears to be some okay. weird form of bomb. She's sort of... She's cautiously take it from him. Yeah, so he puts it in your hand and before he lets go, he's sort of staring at you and he says go back. the best form of purification is with fire always and then he turns and proceeds to walk away okay i'm assuming is this like a glass vial or as you look or you see it is a glass vial and it appears to just simply be a very explosive looking uh yeah alchemist That's fire you know, like a Plus one or some shit like that. Purification fire. She sort of says it with, with a sort of a little, a little bit of glee in there, and she sort of yeah. But he's already gone before she even says anything. Well, she sort of says a little thank you, but he's probably already gone. Mm. He well, he's sort of walking, but he could probably still hear if you wish to say it. Uh, she says, um, no, yeah, she says. Um, she wouldn't just say thanks, she'd say uh, appreciated. Cool. He simply doesn't seem to respond and continues to walk. And she'll just wander off towards the group. Cool, cool. Do I see her outside the keep? You see her outside the keep walking back towards you guys now, yes. Um. I apologize for not being able to greet you at the moment, but I would need to go ahead of the forest. You can start ahead without me. I'll be able to track you down. This might take a while, so please go on ahead. I'll try and make quick speed and find you in the forest or in the city. Uh, yeah, we'll turn to Diana. Diana, Zaya, which route will we be taking? The main main road. The main road. Okay, so you sort of say this loud enough so River can hear, so he now knows which road to find them all as well. That should be easy enough. Yeah, River takes a slight bow and walks out. Mm. All right, cool. So where is everybody going now? Yes, um, Everyone is doing much. shopping things at the moment, and I'm thank in you. dire need of a toilet break, and sure. so I'll say five can minute I, break. Can I just say, ask Dana where we're supposed to meet her when she wants to go? She, oh, remember? Yeah, she said, uh, I will wait for you all at the tavern, please try and be quick. Thank you, we will, we will be. So we're just gonna, um, you know, shop around on our DDIs. <laughs> Mm. Oh, you're on a toilet. Yes, okay. Yeah, you guys can do it. Remember, there's not a lot of good items here. You know, there's sort of... Well, I, I say that. There's not a lot of enchanted stuff or magical stuff. So if there's anything enchanted-wise, you'd have to come and check on me about it. Uh, any weapons-wise, if it's not enchanted, you can probably find it. No worries. All right. Five-minute break for me, because I'm dying need of a piss. I won't fucking lie. I really need a pee. So I'll be right back.
Okay, oh, I need to change the, the background for the Skype. Uh, break. What do you mean? Uh, when we're in break, I sort of just put an image up. So it has like, writing on it, I need the right one. That one, the Captain Shepard. And there's no one in the chat. Well, there's a pretty much an emo girl in the viewers list, but that's about it. An emo girl? The, the, the name is pretty much an emo girl, all one word, so it's very interesting. Oh. Shrug. Okay. Let me check. Oh. What's the Twitch again? Link it earlier? Let's see it. Um, I didn't link it because I, I, I don't want to open it, because I think that will crack, that sort of stuffs up my internet. Mm. But it's, uh, yeah, it's Templar Warden, or one word. The one in Skype seems to not work, so... I see that. Yeah. Yeah, well, my account name is Templar Warden, so if you go to sort of Twitch and just do search, you can end up there. But wow. the one in Skype doesn't seem to work. That. Because it's Twitch, you wrote twitch.com, not Twitch TV. Oh, Twitch TV, there we go, that's the problem. Mm. Probably. Sorry, my bad. No worries. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't want to actually open anything in the background because that crap that is stuffs up the internet for some reason. Yeah. You managed to get the DDI first encounter. Uh, yeah, I, I did get the DDI updated, at least somewhat. Yeah. What was the problem? Uh, the problem was nothing actually. Actually, I was just I, 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 yeah. In the end, I sort of messed it up, so I had to reinstall it. But after that, was fine. So I shrug. And I will take a quick toilet break now. All right. Hello. Templar Warden. I'm into no thought. Thought so it said you were offline randomly at one point. Yeah, I had to re restart my router once again. <laughs> <laughs> so anything happened nah, or people are just doing their okay. shopping stuff? Yeah. Thank you. So, what's our level limit in your eyes at this moment? Uh, it's very unlikely you'll see anything magical-wise. If it's enchanted, you'd have to quickly check and ask me, and I'll say if they have something enchanted. Um, but yeah, if it's just a simple weapon or armor, they probably will have it, though. Okay. I just have to see if I can find something interesting. Mm -hmm. So... Somebody wrote Temple Warden. Is there some kind of oh, like, yeah, relation? Oh yeah, that's no, no, that's um Dan's stream on Twitch. Okay. Temple okay. Warden. Yeah. So can I in this shop find a great bow of frost weapon? I guess. Great bow of frost weapon. Is that a plus one enchantment? Yes. Yes. It's level three. Yes, you do manage to find it. Um, for that price, or is there some penalty? It is for the exact price that you see on NI. Excuse okay, me, then I'll... Another DDA. No, it's oh. okay. I'll buy it. I'll see if I can find some armor. Mm. <laughs> God. So there should have been some kind of subtraction subtraction system on this DDI, man. <laughs> Uh, oh, heck, how yeah. How go? I mean, you know, so you can subs subtract. You can only add, you can't subtract. Well, if you buy 
If you click on the buy button, yeah, it should automatically dictate. But um, it won't let me buy, so I'm kind of have to do it by hand, by head. No. Oh. How come you can't buy it? I don't know. I, it's grayed out for me. Hmm. I don't know why.